Hi guys, so we are gonna start drawing our next project, which is Edward Monk's The Scream. So you've already watched the little history lesson about the history of The Scream and why Edward created the work that he did. Um, Cause you know that in the video, it talks about his anxiety and the fears that he struggled from. So a few examples of some previous students' artwork is, here's one. And you can see where it has like the devil's arm coming out. So that's one of their fears. This one, they've done like a dark shadow around the edge to represent being alone. And you can see that they're all a little different, but you can tell they're both inspired by the same artist, the same artwork. And then the last one I have here is a demon coming up through the bridge. So all three different, very different, but still all very good. So remember when you're creating these to add your own take on them, but you still want them to represent and show that your inspiration is the screen. So the first thing we're gonna do, you're just gonna need a pencil, eraser, and sketch paper. And if you are a remote learner and you only have your visual journal, remember you can use a page in your visual journal as well, okay? So what I like to do first is draw him. So some people draw him where, so you can see here where they've drawn him where he's kind of cut off the bottom of the page, or he's actually walking on the bridge. So that's your personal preference, what you prefer to do. So his, his head is kind of an upside down egg, but it kind of indents. And then his shoulders, well, he has his hands right here in those indentations. And then his arms come down like this. And you have his body that's kind of straight down. Okay, so I have mine going off the page. Then you can go back and you can add the face in later. So to add the bridge, I always start about halfway up my paper and I angle it down. Now you can use a ruler if you like. And you can see how I'm kind of starting from the same point. And doing that is gonna make the bridge seem like it's coming from a distance. And then I'm gonna add in my straight vertical post. And then you can add in some dimension to them. So they look 3D. So you wanna add in the fact that they're, remember I'm doing this without a ruler, so forgive my error in lines. And then you have the little island that's out here. And then you have the water that's coming around. And then you have sky up above. So your detail is really gonna come in from your colored pencils. So we have the figure, we have the bridge, and we have the island, the water, the horizon line, and then your sky up above. So now I want you to incorporate your fear. So remember, I wanted you to think about two or three fears you might have and try to incorporate at least two of those fears. So for me, I might add in spiders. And so I might just draw them coming in on the bridge. And the closer they get, the bigger they get. And then maybe another fear would be drowning. So in the water here, maybe I have somebody and they have their arms up, help, help. And there's somebody over here, okay. And then using color pencil, I want you to fill this in with color pencil. So be sure you add in those details. And then fun fact, the mask from the screen was inspired by this painting. And so was the scene in Home Alone when uh, Kevin puts the aftershave on and he screams. This was inspired 
was the inspiration behind it. So fun fact behind the screen. So draw the bridge, draw the figure, incorporate two of your fears into the drawing, and then fill in with color. Remember, you can use the paper that's in your journal. If you're in person, you can collect the paper from me. Um, if you're remote and you don't want to use a page in your journal and you want to pick up paper, just send me an email or message me on the classroom and I will make sure I, ha I have that available as well as color pencils if you need them. So happy drawing, guys. Talk to you soon.